two, five, seventy nine, two hundred, four hundred and one, three, thirty, fifteen, two. Wow, what a beautiful day! Look at those beautiful clouds and blue sky. God, thank you for letting us start another wonderful day. Hello. Why, hello, Mr. Neighbor. Aren't you coming out? Of course I am, right away. I'm making a delicious breakfast to share with you. Are you in? Of course I am. We'll have bread and cheese and vegetables and walnuts. Delicious. Mmm, great. I'll crack some walnuts until you come. I'll be right with you. Just wait a minute. Okay, okay. I'll take this one. Uh-uh. Ha 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 ha. Well, 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 well. Fresh vegetables. Come, look at this. Come on, sit down. Wow, thank you very You're much. You're most welcome, my dear. Come here. What were you doing? I was counting my walnuts to make sure they were all here. Then I was going to separate them because I have walnuts, hazelnuts, and I have some almonds here. <laughs> all right, let's have breakfast first and then I'll help you afterwards. Come here, come on. You the truth, I'd like us to play a little afterwards. You know, since the weather is so good today. <laughs> play? Okay, but first things first. Breakfast. Okay, sure. Here you are. Wow, look at these walnuts. Thank you. Don't we get any almonds, little Help squirrel? Yourself. Well, what should we do first? We say, In, in the name, name of God. God. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Shall I make a sandwich for you, little squirrel? If it's no trouble for you. But this sandwich is too small. <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten how small your mouth is. Thank Let's you. Let's add some walnuts. And... Oh, oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, dear! Oh, oh hey, what's happening? Hey! hey. What are what these? What are these? What is the meaning of this? What's dropping from the sky? What are these? Look Strange. at them. Strange. What is Ooh. this? A ball? Uh, uh, Where did they come from uh, so suddenly? What? Where did I they come know. from? What? Why did they drop over our head? What are these, uh, squirrels? Perhaps they were carried over by the wind, Mr. Neighbor. Wind? But, but there's no wind. Uh, then perhaps they're just some trash and the wind suddenly blew and suddenly carried them over here and suddenly stopped blowing, right? The wind suddenly blew and brought them here and then stopped? Right. Uh, take this trash away, Mr. Look at Neighbor. all this stuff. Trash? Excuse me, but they're not trash. They're my stuff. Your uh, stuff? Yes, they're but mine. But who are you? I'm a woodpecker. How did you come here? Who are you? What do you want? He's right. I'll tell you who I am once I've gathered my stuff. Hold on a second. What? What is your stuff doing here? We were going to play after breakfast. Oh, calm down. Let's hear what this small woodpecker has to say. Hmm? Small woodpecker? Um, well, it's true that I'm a woodpecker and I'm small, but not as much as you think. I see. Well, you're right, I'm still a baby, but don't call me that. Oh, sorry. I won't call you a small woodpecker anymore. Mr. Woodpecker, welcome. You were saying... <laughs> that hey, sounds hey! Better. What is it? Hold on a second, Mr. Neighbor. What are you doing? Come here, quickly! What? Come here! Is that how it's going to be? What do you mean? He's ruined everything, yet you talk nicely to him, saying hello, welcome. Is Squirrel, that why are you behaving be? like this? That's all right, He's Go just ahead. arrived here. Let's get to know him. Hmm. He's just like a guest here. No, hold on a second. Go on. Guests are invited, but we haven't mm -hmm. invited him here. Aww. He suddenly came along with his weird behavior and ruined everything. It's all right. Stop being so grumpy and let him have his say. I'm Come with me. Being Come on. Grumpy. Well, little woodpecker. Um, sorry. I mean, Mr. Woodpecker. Uh, yes? Go ahead. Mm, please give me my stuff. I'd like to leave. Leave. 
Already? Okay, I'll give you your stuff, but don't you wish to get to know us a little better? Perhaps we could become friends. Huh? Uh, uh, I just don't get it! How can we become friends so suddenly? We should fight instead of becoming uh, friends! Don't say that, Honestly. squirrel! Huh? Don't you wish to become friends with us, Woodpecker? Okay, we're friends. Now give me my stuff, I wish to leave. In order to become friends, we need to be good-tempered, smile a little, be happy, and then tell each other hello. You mean if I greet him like that, we'll become friends? Yes, and even close friends at that. Then I won't say hello to him, because I don't want to be his friend. I won't say it. Mm -hmm. As you I wish. I don't wish to be your friend either. Give me my stuff. <laughs> I want to leave. Yes. Hold on a second. It's all right. He doesn't want to be your friend, but I do. I will say it. Hello, little woodpecker. All right, then. Hello. Well, would you like us to get to know each other? I'm Mr. Neighbor. What's your name? My name's Hot Hot. Hot Hot? Yes. That's, that's an my interesting name. name. Great. Very good. You must be really happy, Mr. Neighbor, right? Why on earth are you so happy? I'm happy because I found a new friend. You can also say hi to him and become his friend. Well... Hmm? Uh, well... Don't you want to be his but, friend? Uh, hello. Good job. Hello. My name's Hot Hot. What's yours? My name's Little Squirrel, as you know. All right. I'll gather your stuff. You just get to know each other better. Thank you. I don't know why it's not suddenly came undone while I was flying and my stuff just dropped down. Yes, they sure dropped down. They dropped over our unsuspecting innocent heads. It was all a complete mess. It was an accident. It's all right. I don't know how it happened. Although I secured the nut, my stuff it dropped down. It was an down. accident. I know. Silly. These things happen. Let's leave your stuff here. I don't think you've had any breakfast, have you? We were well, having breakfast. I, uh, but, well... You obviously haven't. You can share our breakfast if you want. Come on, but, don't be shy. But, but, our breakfast? What are you doing? But it's your breakfast. It's yours. And if I have any, I'll be taking away your That's share. That's quite all right. Come on, you're our guest. Come here. I'll give you some. Come on. He's right, Mr. Neighbor. He'll be taking don't our worry, shares. Don't worry, I'll eat less today. Then, don't then, be like that. He's our guest. Well, thank you very much. Here you are. Let me get it to you. What about you, Mr. Neighbor? I'm worried about I'll you. I'll have some yes. as well. Don't worry. You'll be Here left you with are. no breakfast. Don't worry. Hello, hello, hello. Greeting people is an act of politeness. That's what my granny says. If you want to become someone's friend, you should say hello first. A Muslim should always try to be the first one in saying hello. That's what my daddy says. Saying hello strengthens our friendship. Saying hello makes us happy and calm. We should be friendly to each other because we're Muslim. Our prophet always preceded others in saying hello. Our dear prophets and imams always said hello to children. When we're friends with each other, we can stay together. When we say hello and find good friends, we're not alone anymore. If we're not alone, we can accomplish many things with the help of our friends. God really likes Muslims who are always together. God will be really happy with us if we're the first ones to say hello. God will really love us if we love other people. <sighs> um, thank you very much. That was delicious. Can you please give me my stuff now? I have to go. Mm, tell me, do you really have Bye. to go? Of course I do. What else do you expect me to do? Yes, he has to go. He has nothing to do here, so why but should he stay? But didn't you say you were looking for a place to settle down? Yes, 
I have to fly and fly yeah. and fly and keep yes, flying yes. a thousand miles until I find a mm -hmm. suitable place. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a suggestion for you. You don't need to fly and fly for a thousand miles. You can stay here and live with us. <gasps> Where? Right here. Here? Yeah, right up that tree, what? for example. How? Mr. Neighbor, yes. what do you think you're doing? Why are we asking him to stay? Oh. Let him go and find another place to live in. Let him leave already. Little Squirrel, without him we'll be two friends, right? If he stays here we'll become three friends, three neighbors. But listen here. I don't want us to become three friends. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want us to keep the number at two. Mm, squirrel, You know what, stop it. Mr. Neighbor? Yes? Little Squirrel? Yes? I've thought it through already. Uh, uh, good. And? Great. Right. Bravo. Bravo. You're going to leave, right? Hmm? Isn't that right? No. No. Since you keep insisting that I stay here with you, I've decided to give in gracefully and stay. Just tell me where I should build my house. Wow, tell me, tell that's me. great. What? You want to build a house? Yes. You're really going to stay here? But, but, but uh, what? this place is no, not No, it enough. will be great. I believe it will be a nice change. As I said, we'll be three friends and neighbors instead of just two friends and neighbors. I believe you can build a good house upon that tree over mm -hmm. there. Mm, let me check. Wait, uh, is it okay? Well, hey, squirrel. I, it's just, not. Well, not bad. Um, well, you know, I say from here. Um, let me look um, from far away. Well, it's yeah. okay. Now, uh, let me let me look from this side as well. Um, from this side, it looks okay as well. Everything can be seen okay, from that look side. Let the sky. Um, Oh, from this side? Mm -hmm. It's great, I'll stay. So you'll be staying with Wait us then? Wait a minute, but I... What? I mean, my house, my... Uh, uh. It's alright. Don't worry. It doesn't matter that my house will be small. Don't worry yourself over such things, Squirrel. I happen to be small too. How did it come to this? Why did such a thing happen? What am I supposed to do? Well, little squirrel, I think the only thing you can do right now is to help me help little woodpecker to set up his house. Are you in? Excuse me? Yes. Listen to me. Yes? Hot Hot. Oh. My name is Hot Hot and I'm very... Particular about it. That's what I was going to say. Aren't you? I'm very sensitive about well, it. Well, we can help little Hot Hot build his house. Agreed, little squirrel? I wish, I wish, I wish I hadn't agreed to say hello to him and we hadn't become friends at all. Don't say that, Squirrel. You'll upset Hot Hot. Mm, I see. What do you mean you wish you hadn't said hello? It can be the start of a beautiful friendship. As soon as we see someone, we should quickly say hello to them. That's interesting. We said hello to each other and then we became friends. Uh -huh. Then I became your neighbor and I have a house now. It's great. Hello, 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 hello. hello, hello. <laughs> you are so not cute. Hey. No need to greet our heads off. My dear squirrel, I'm doing it because I want to strengthen our friendship more and more. Hello, hello, There's hello, There's nothing hello. wrong with saying hello. Come on now. Even if you say it a thousand times, it's fine. Because as I said, it brings you health and happiness. It's a way of showing that you want the other person to be happy and lively all the time. Look, I want my hello back. Hurry up, hurry up and get it hey, back Hey, what me. does that mean? But why? Because I don't want to be your friend, okay? Come on! I don't want what? to be always happy because what? you suddenly came along and messed everything up. Mm, you mean you don't want to be my friend anymore? You don't want me to be healthy and happy and lively? Well, of course I... Uh... Of course he does! Of course he wants to be healthy and happy and lively. Little Squirrel is pulling your leg, aren't you, Squirrel? Well, huh? I... Hey. Why would I pull his Let's leg? stop arguing right now. Let's go and build Little Woodpecker's house. I mean, um, Hot Hot's mm. house. And then we'll talk about it yes. more later. Hurry up, hurry up. Come here, I want a word with you, mister. Mm. Let's go. Let's get a few I'm things sorted coming. first. I'm come on. Coming. Come on, man. You come, 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 come. Oh, come on. Go. Yes, I want to talk to you. Come inside. Oh. Look at this place. 
It's really nice. Hmm, I'm glad that I'm not alone. It's true that it's a little small for me. The room is also small, but I think I'll be able to live a good life alongside my new friends. I'm sure of it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> myself. A beautiful and nice and airy house. It's great! Excuse me, uh, let me correct you. You haven't found this place. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nabor was kind enough to find you this house. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter who found it, little squirrel. What's important is that from now on we'll be three friends and three neighbors. That's what matters. I don't think I'll have any fun around here anymore. Huh? Why? Why? Why wouldn't you have fun when you have such a good neighbor like me, my dear squirrel? Yes, he has lots of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun together, huh? aren't we? You're so... Ugh. Hey, that's enough. Everything's been taken care of and the house is ready, right? Well, no. Not Everything's been taken care Why of. Why not? I may not be able to stay here. Oh, really? What? Not able to stay? Are you sure? But why? Because I don't know you two very well. I know nothing about this place <laughs> and you. Great. That's great. Um, then you better go to a place where you know everyone. Somewhere you're familiar with. Uh, I think that's no, a great no, idea, No, 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 no. I have a better suggestion. What do you want to know about us, Woodpecker? Ask whatever you want to know. I'll answer them all. Then you can stay on well, here. All right, then. I'll ask. For example... For example... Um, are you two relatives or just friends? <laughs> Squirrel and I can't be related to each other. We're just two close friends and neighbors. Oh. Go ahead. Don't be shy. If you have any other questions, ask away. Mm -hmm. All right. I will. For example, what do you do here every day? Huh? Mm, every day we... Um, I go to work during the day and we eat our meals together, play together, tell stories. That's what we do here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great! I love stories! Would you Good. please tell me a story? Today, please! <laughs> See, a story? As soon mm. as he has his foot inside the door, he's asking for stories and such things. I've never met a woodpecker like you in my life. But... Hey. But... But what? But what? What is it? What's wrong? What's wrong, Hot Hot? Why are you crying? He's trying to win our sympathy. There's no other reason. You're Hot Hot, wrong. what's wrong? No, I'm not trying to win your sympathy. Talking about stories reminded me of my grandmother. She knows a whole bunch of beautiful and exciting stories. Say, uh, how about going back to your grandmother and staying with her? Then she can tell you all her exciting stories. She must be feeling lonely on her own. I'm sure she is. Squirrel. No, no. There's no need to worry. She has another 76 grandsons mm. who can keep her company. Besides, I sometimes mm. drop by and visit her. Now tell me a story, a story, a story, a story. All right. Okay, story, okay, okay. Story. Since you love stories as much uh -huh. as Little Squirrel, yes. we can get ready to tell today's story. Do you agree? Of course! Yes. That's great! Great. Okay, yes. wait here while I get the wonder chest. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Hurry back! I said, Mom... Can I see God? Mom said, You cannot see God, but you can see His power. You can see the beauties He has created. 
you can see that God has created everything in an orderly manner. But you need to look at everything carefully. So I'm going to see everything clearly, to take another look at the world around me. You can also do the same and look at everything closely. I looked around again and saw the beauties created by God. I looked around again and saw God's power. God, thank you for loving us. Alright guys, this is our wonder chest in which stories can be found every day. Let's see what it has to offer us today. I Let's see what we wait. have. <laughs> I mm, love look at this. stories. Wow, that's colorful. Stories mm. are great. Oh, I like that. Look at those ears. Oh, yeah. Rabbit Let's had see a what crow. else we have here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at that. Look what, what else I found. Do you have? Great. Guys, should we begin the story now? Yes. Do. Okay, Yay. sure. Please. Sure. Once upon a time, far, far, far away, there was a lush forest in which food had become scarce. The animals that lived in the forest were all hungry and were unable to find any food. Until one day, a group of humans came to the forest for a change of scene. They set up camp, had a lot of fun, ate the food they brought with them and then packed up and left. Right there, they left a red, mouth-watering apple behind. A rabbit, who was passing by, saw the apple. He ran forward and picked up the apple. He was really happy, he thought to himself. Hooray! What a big apple! I'm gonna eat it and say goodbye to my hunger! Jolly jolly good! He was on cloud nine, and he was hungry, you see. While he was jumping up for joy, he noticed someone calling him up from a tree. It was a crow. Let's see what he said. Crow, crow, crow! I'm really hungry and exhausted. I'm fainting. I don't know what to do. The rabbit told him. There's no need to worry. You see this apple I have here? We can share it together. So they decided to cut that apple in half. Half of it for the rabbit and the other half for the crow. They divided the apple. They were about to part company when a little sparrow happened upon them. Let's see what he told them. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. I'm really hungry. How about you? Have you eaten? Have you eaten? The rabbit told him. My dear friend, we haven't eaten yet. But we have a red apple cut in two. Half of it belongs to me and the other half to Mr. Crow. I can give you a part of it. Don't worry. When the crow heard the rabbit say that, he told him, No, you're the one who found the apple. You should keep your half of it. The crow shared his own half of the apple with the sparrow. The sparrow, who was really, really happy, took half of the apple and went on his way. The crow also thanked the rabbit and left. The rabbit took his half of the apple and went home. On his way, he passed Miss Hen's house, and he heard her chickens chirping inside. Miss Hen came out and greeted the rabbit. Hello, hello, my dear friend. Mm, the rabbit answered. Hello, Miss Hen. How are you doing today? Miss Hen said. I'm fine. I'm a little hungry and a little tired, the rabbit said. Miss Hen, I can give you half of my apple. 
Then you won't be hungry anymore. Mm, the rabbit decided to give Ms. Hen half of his apple to appease her hunger. But half of the apple was not enough for the hen, since her children were waiting for her at home. When the rabbit heard the chickens chirping, he decided to be generous to his neighbor rather than eat the apple and fill his own stomach. So he gave his share of the apple to Ms. Hen. Ms. Hen took it and thanked him. She went inside and gave the apple to her children, who devoured it in a blink. Ms. Hen was so happy to see her children eat the heavenly fruit, she thanked God for the blessing. The rabbit had no food left and had given his share of the apple to Ms. Hen, but he was really happy when he heard the sound of the chicken's happiness. Approaching his house, he told himself, I'm really glad that I could make Miss Hen and her chickens and Little Sparrow and Mr. Crow happy and give them food. God is great. I'm sure I'll find something else to eat. <laughs> yes, God is great. If we care about others, God will care for us. That was our story for today. Did you like it? I'm sure you did, as always. Yeah. Well, now that you liked it, I'll gather all these animals and put them back in our wonder chest. Mr. Neighbor. Yes? When you were a child, who told you these beautiful stories? When I was a child, my lovely grandma used to tell me these beautiful stories every night right before I went to sleep. Oh, did you thank her? Oh, yes, sure I did. <laughs> My grandma Woodpecker also tells me a lot of stories. Good for you and your Woodpecker grandma. All right, guys, I'd better go home and attend to my food before it burns on the stove. Okay. All right. I'm going then. Go check on the food.